Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to tell you something about nasal polypus. These are the small, you see, grapes like structure inside the nose. You can see very easily on that, you see, the screen also. The lady is having the nasal polypi. They are actually basically small structures hanging in the nose. On this, there was a lot of discussion in the Love the Nose conference in Manila of Philippines that these polypi, which are basically mostly due to allergy, allergic polypi, that their origin is due to the, you see, some problem of the allergy of nose. The patient starts sneezing, then he has got a bunch of grapes on right nose and left nose. It should be taken seriously. There was, you see, a delegate from Japan, Tokyo, sitting with me in the scientific session, which I presided, that nasal polypi now should be removed with the, you see, more advanced way, that is FES protocol, functional endoscopic sinus surgery. The three sinuses should be cleared, nasal polypi should be removed, then there will be less chance of recurrence. Then there was another conference in Malaysia, in Kuala Lumpur, and there was a delegate from India. He said that in whole subcontinent, it was his saying, this problem is prevailing, but there is no proper you see, system. Patients come to the hospital, they just take out with the you see, small lux force and they remove the uh, polypi. Patient goes, then after four months, six months, again patient comes, again with the same problem. It should be properly diagnosed first. Then there should be a histopathology of it. Biopsy should be done. The nasal polypi you are going to remove, it may be due to some other problem. It may be even cancerous. And if there are some problems, situation where the polypi are there, but they are having the see, cancerous characteristics. So such should be then handled to properly to the oncologist and properly then should, it should be treated. Otherwise, it can be a bad thing for the patient. I tell you very frankly, this nasal polypi, especially in the you see, older age group, they cause a lot of noise and there are a series of problems. When you remove, there is a hypertension due to that. Bleeding starts from the nose. It should be then handled nicely. It's not a joke just, just to take out the nasal polypi and put them to see that glass piece and send the patient to this home. It should be properly followed. Or then patient should come for the day visit to the surgeon just for if, if there is some problem again or not. Nasal polypi, they are bad. They are not a good thing. It is something which is causing the obstruction of the nose. The patient will not breathe properly from the nose and he will, he will have to keep his mouth open. Then there was a conference at Egypt. In the World ENT conference, nasal polypi was also again a hot topic that they are having incidents in children also. There is another variety which is called anthroconal polypus. That is, they, it should be handled nicely. And then there are, you see, other situations. Polypus, wherever it is, it should be removed. And then there should be biopsy of it and then do accordingly. Then our conference, which I represented Pakistan in Washington, D.C., NOSE 2000 and Beyond Conference. Professor Karen is standing with me. He was of my opinion that the polyps they should be removed and then there should be proper follow-up of them. Patient should not be asked that if he has been removed and then he is away from the doctor. He has to come and visit for again checkup as there is a bypass of operation for heart. He gets the bypass surgery, then he again visits his doctors. His consultant will then guide him to go. I am a practical man, my this hospital, I have done Dr. Burr in Dana ENT Hospital, J2, opposite Grade College. And in the same way, also I did work in the Mayo Hospital, which is a you see, unique hospital of this area, of subcontinent, and King Edward Medical College, which is now King Edward Medical University. You can see me that I am going with the principal King Edward Medical College Professor Iftahar, and when I was associate professor there. These cases of polypus, they were, they were mostly, you see, discussed in our, you see, various indoor classes. I used to teach with the medical students how they have to examine the polyps. 
then how to manage it? Management is very difficult. You remove again, there is again you remove, then again there is a problem. It should be handled properly. This is my, you see, simple advice to you. And the last conference which on this nasal polypi which I attended there was in Ankara in Turkey. They spoke too much on this issue. They said the nozzle polypi, they should be handled nicely. Don't remove without precautions. Take all the precautions, take utmost care, especially in the older age group. Sometimes there is a hypertensive patients, they start bleeding. You send the patient to home after surgery, they again come with the bleeding. Such patients should be advised to remain under the cover and the patient will then get benefit. Thank you very much.